<laughs> I'm Sergi, the master of Motown, and just like I told you, I'm going to give you a course in singing. I know it's a lot of people out there saying, well, why do you want to do a course in singing? Because it's kind of kind of a, a counterproductive thing to do because most singers, you can't tell them anything. You can't tell them how to sing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on your vocal apparatus because I am a singer. I'm one of the best. I've been trained by great singers like Thomas Whitfield and Rudy Hawkins, Thomas Isaiah Butler. So I'm going to get right into it. What actually singing is, is um, it's not what you think. Singing is not just hot belting it out as loud as you can or as soft as you can. And uh, it's not, it's, it's, it's more to it than that because singing is basically like a science. So if you want to be a good singer, do like I did, told you to do. I wanted you to bring a recording device as well as an ink pen and pencil paper. I didn't say that right. Ink pen and a piece of paper. And when I finish with you, you're going to be a great singer. First thing I want you to do is think of a song that you know how to sing. Okay? While you're looking for your recording device and an ink pen and piece of paper. Okay. I'm waiting for you. I know what song I like to do. Okay. Now when you get your ink pen and your piece of paper and your recording device, what I want you to do is I want you to sing any song. Sing the song into your recording device. I know it takes a while because some people they have a great songs. <laughs> and if you like, you can always come back to it. Now, if you're enjoying this seminar, my Cash App, if you'd like to donate, because this is free for you. Free is for the free. My Cash App is dollar sign S T. M O M 2012. So if you'd like to, just a dollar or whatever you'd like to give me for this training, it's great. Okay, now that you you found your recording device and you sang a song into that recording device, I'm gonna start. So when my cousin brought me into this dark study of his, he told me to, and I'm gonna tell you to do the same thing. Lay on your stomach. No, lay on your back. Wherever you are, just lay down on your back. You'll still be able to hear me. Okay, now I want you to pretend like you're sleeping. And I want you to put your hand on your stomach and watch as it raises up, comes back down, and raises up, and comes back down. That's the secret. That's breathing. See, most people are born to... Most people... Let me ask you this. What is the loudest thing in your house? I'm from Detroit. The loudest thing in my house was a cat outside, in your house or outside, or a baby crying. And the reason why is because when you were made, you were made to breathe from your diaphragm. But because of the stress that we go through, our our shoulders come down. And in order for us to breathe, we have to do like this. And that's okay if that's how you want to breathe. But singers don't breathe like that. Real singers don't breathe like that. That's why you hear a lot of people that's so-called professional, that's singing, they can't hit the notes. It producers make it seem like they hit the notes. They use auto-tune because they're singing like this. Remember, 
any art you use, any art that you do, always use the big muscles. Because the little muscles, when you use them, they get tired, tear, everything. You don't want that to happen. That's why people have singer's nodules. I don't want that for you. I want you to be a great singer. So, I said that to say this. So, when you're, when you're out and you, you see dogs barking, they're the loudest because they breathe from their diaphragm. So, what I want you to do is I want you to take a deep breath. Bring it in all the way in. Okay, then I want you to let it all the way out. Let all the air out. Keep going. Let it out, let it out, let it out, let more out, let more out, let more out, let more out. Because what happens is, is your lungs are built like this. And the closer you get to the top, the closer they are together. So when you sing or you breathe, you're only getting oxygen in this part of the lungs, which is means that the other part has not been cleaned and it's dirty and it wants to it wants to breathe too but you only breathe up here because you're doing like this and not using the diaphragm now the diaphragm is the largest muscle in the body and what it does is it's like the lung lays on the diaphragm the diaphragm pops back pops down and more oxygen comes in to fill the whole lung so that's why I tell you, take a deep breath, keep going, and just let it down. And if you do it right, you'll be able to hold a note a long time. Okay, so um, what I want you to do right now is I want you to, let's see, what do dogs do? Dogs do something, they pant. So I want you to pant. I know some of you are big stars and you don't wanna just go into a room where you can be by yourself. Learn this. It's, it's not good for young people, young men under the age of 13. To be learning this because it's puberty and uh, your voice is going to change anyway. But I want you to learn how to pant. It's like Michael Jackson. You know, so I want you to learn how to pant. And now what I want you to do is I want you to sing the song again into your recording device. And when you finish singing that song, I want you to practice that until I see you again. And then I want you to listen to the first time you did it and the second time you did it. Because what happens is vocals is not about singing.